Hey everyone, my name is Daniel. In today's video, I'm going to show you five features to quickly access your apps in Power Apps Mobile Apps. Now, two of them are configured using PowerShell. Other two can be done directly through your mobile app. One of them is very iPhone centric and the last one you may not have even heard of. So as you can see, these are all very important. So stick around. But first, here's my intro video. So what you see over here is my Power Apps mobile app, and this is what my current situation looks like. I have no favorites. And in the bottom, as you can see, there is featured apps. If I go and click on it, there is nothing in my featured apps as well. So everything that I'm going to show you now moving forward will go ahead and populate these things. So let's go and focus on featured apps first. Now, as the name suggests, you can actually have more than one apps for your featured app. And that's exactly what we're going to do. So in order to do that, there's a few requirements. First of all, you need to have that PowerShell module, which is the Power Apps Administrative PowerShell module uh, in order to run these PowerShell scripts. And I've put the link of that in the description below. Second, these are Power Apps administrative type of commands. So you need to have the Power Platform admin role. And that means in your enter ID, go ahead and make sure that that admin role is assigned to you. So that's the second requirement. Third is you need to go and get the app IDs. So let's go and grab a few. I'm going to switch over to my browser and here are the apps. So let me show you how to get the first one. All right. This is the help desk one. I want my help desk one to be part of my featured list. So in order to do that, go ahead and click on the ellipses, go and click on details. And right over here, this is the app ID. So you can go ahead and highlight this and make sure you copy it because you're going to run the PowerShell scripts with it. Now, this can be across multiple environments. So in my case, one of my featured app is this an environment, which is christian-dev.usa. I could go ahead and grab one from the prod one. I could go and grab one from the, all these environments. Completely fine. Now, you got to make sure that the users actually have access to those apps and those environments. Uh, but as far as running the PowerShell script and setting it up as featured apps, um, you can just make sure that you get the actual app information. So in my PowerShell script, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to go and set up these three as my featured apps. And the PowerShell script is very simple. It is set dash admin power apps as featured space dash app name space and in double quotes, go and put in that app ID. So this is the one that we got together. I also went and grabbed two others. So here you go. I'm going to run them one at a time. So I'm going to highlight that and I'm going to click on the second one uh, because it's just the one that runs the selection. It's running and there you go. It came in as code 200. 200 means good. Thumbs up. So that one ran successfully. Next, I'll go and run the second one as well. Click on that, highlight it, do an F8 or run that one. And now we do eight. It says, yep, that one ran successfully as well. So it ran a little faster and let's do the third one. I'll go in and run this as well. And it's going the F8 and even that one ran successfully. So three of these have got the code 200, which is successful. So what I'm going to do now is switch over and take a look at my app. So let's switch back over here. I'm going to go and take a look at my featured apps. I come over here. If you don't immediately see it, that's fine. I'm just going to do a drag down. And there you go. All three of these apps are showing up successfully. These are the ones for which we went ahead and ran that PowerShell script. And now you have three featured apps over here. So now that you've got the three featured apps, you can take one of these and make it as your hero app. So if you caught my drift before you can set up a hero app, you've got to set it as a featured app. You can't just jump ahead and do a hero app. First, go ahead and set up your featured apps. Then you can take one of those featured apps and make it as a hero. So what I'm going to do now is go back into my PowerShell script. Um, and the one that I wanted is this one right over here. I want to go ahead and bump that up now to a hero one. So just to make sure there's no confusion, I'm going to go and clear the screen off right over here. It's cleared off. Let's go and just highlight this one. And its admin is set dash admin power apps as hero. Very similar to the one which is before. The only difference is that was as featured. This is as hero and everything else is the same space dash app name space in double quotes, the actual app ID. All right. So I've selected that. I'm going to go and do a selection. So it is running. And now that is code 200, which means it's a thumbs up. 
and let's now go and take a look at it from the mobile app. So I'm going to switch over back over here to our mobile apps. This is the featured app. I'm going to go and click on home. And now I don't see it, but if I go and do a drag down for a refresh, right over there, you see that featured app. This featured app will always show up in your company as user sign in. And if for whatever reasons users don't want to see this and they go and click on that X on the top, right? See, I go and click on it. The featured app goes away. However, so the next time they go ahead and come back in over here, you will see that that featured app immediately shows up on the top. So it's, this is one of those good things where the admin has full control over that. And if for whatever reason the user went ahead and x out of it, the next time they come in, that hero app will always be on the top. Now, moving forward for the remaining three, you don't need PowerShell scripts. You can do that directly over here through your mobile app. So for the first one is now going and talking about your favorite apps. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down a little bit and I'm going to go and pick in this one. See that one fun with mixed reality 3D. I want to make that as one of my favorite apps. So right over here, I'm going to go ahead and slide this to the left. And there you go. You see favorite that star option. Let me go and click on that. And you can do these for other ones too. And as you notice that next to the app, you actually see the star so that immediately and visually you can see, yep, that's one of my favorite apps. Um, let's go and do a few more. There is the awards and recognition administration app. I'm going to slide to the left, select that as my favorite. And now you can see even that one has the star. Uh, the inspections one, I'm going to go and do that as well. Slide it, click on it. And now that has the one. So if I now scroll down a little bit, you can see that the favorites app over here is starting to populate. Remember, this one was completely blank, but now you had full control to go and see which one is your favorite and do it directly through your mobile app. And this is how you set up your own favorite apps. All right, so the next one I'm gonna talk about is very iPhone centric, which means this is a setting that you can only do for your iPhone and that's called as setting up the shortcuts. Now for this setting, you've actually go into the app itself. So for example, this specific one, which is the fun with mixed reality 3D, I want to go and put a shortcut for that. So I'm going to now click on the I section over there, right? So you click on the I, it actually gets into the settings of it. Right on the sec right on the top, you see add shortcut, which has got that home icon. When I go and click on it, this pop-up comes in. Now this is part of the iPhone's iOS mobile. It's actually giving me a few options. In addition to me going and setting up a shortcut, it's also now allowing me to go ahead and call this app directly through Siri, directly through Siri, uh, but just by my audio. So it says, hey, if you go and say, but it's, so it's telling you here that if you go and say, hey Siri, open fun with mixed reality 3D, it will directly go and open that. And it's actually right, right now it's going and taking care of that. And you can go and change the voice phrase if you want, but it by default captures the name of the app. So I'm done over here. I'm going to go and click on done. And it's asking me save icons to your photos. You can personalize your home screen. You can personalize your home screen shortcut by saving the app icon to photos. Uh, for my case, I'm just going to go and click on skip. And now it says go to shortcuts app to add your new shortcut to the home screen. I'll go and say go to shortcuts. The app is already on the top. And here in my shortcuts right on the top, I now actually have my canvas app added as a shortcut directly in my iPhone. Now, if you've ever missed your shortcut, you can always come back to the home screen, just slide down a little bit. And if you don't see your shortcuts on the top left, just go and do a, just go and do a search for it. I'm going to go and search for short. And there you go. The shortcuts show up. Click on it. And here you can go and see that shortcut that you created. If you click on the ellipses next to it, yeah, you can click on the drop down to go ahead and change the name, go ahead and change the icon. But you see that important point, it says add to home screen. When I go and click on it, it's saying, how do you want to present it? All right, I like everything as is. So I'll just go and click on add. And there you go. My shortcut of my Power Apps Canvas app is directly added into the home screen. So if I go and click on it, it is directly opening up my Power Apps Canvas app and immediately navigating me directly into that app. This is pretty awesome. Keep in mind, this is very iPhone centric. Now the last but definitely not the least is startup. Now startup is the most latest feature compared to all the other ones that I show and it's possible that you might have missed it. 
Now, as the name suggests, what Startup does is that is your default applications when you start using your mobile app for Canvas apps. And I'll show you how to configure it first and we'll test it. So in my case, I want this inspection to also be my startup. So now I'm gonna go and click on that I for details. And right over here on the top, it says open at startup. Now keep in mind, there can be only one startup app. There cannot be multiple startup apps because it's just not possible. You want only one app to open up by default. So you can't have multiple ones because hey, that just causes a confusion. So now for this one, I want this to be my startup app um, for my company. I'm gonna go and click on it. It's telling me inspection will open when starting this app. So what it is mean, so what that means is that let's go and now close my Canvas app altogether. So here I am in my home screen with Power Apps. When I go and click on it, it automatically navigates over into the inspection app. I didn't have to go and click on it or anything like that. That is the beauty of the startup. Startup once again means when I open up the mobile power apps, I want you to immediately start up a app. And in our case, we set up the inspection app and this is how it works. It's pretty awesome, but keep in mind that you can have only one startup application. And if you change your mind, that's completely fine. We'll go out of it. On the inspection, I'll go and select it. And right on the top where it says, remove from startup. If I go and click on it, it is removed and you can go and pick something else. This startup app feature is very useful to avoid any confusions about people going ahead and opening up the Canvas app and then finding it. Uh, you can just enforce that as a startup so that that's the one app which always opens when they use the Power Apps mobile app. So hopefully this video was useful to you and now you know those five features that are available for your Power Apps mobile apps. Also keep in mind that order for some of these is necessary uh, specifically for featured app first and then you can bump up a feature app into a hero level app. Both of those also need the PowerShell scripts, which means you will need to have the Power Apps module installed on it, and you need that elevated, which is a Power Platform admin role. And for the remaining three of them, it is pretty awesome because you can do that directly through your mobile apps. And that startup app feature is pretty awesome because this was the latest functionality available for your mobile app. I think it's one of those that just sneaked in because I couldn't even find any documentation on it. But it's pretty important to know that this functionality is available, which will enforce the opening of that single application. So hopefully this video was useful to you. And as always, keep using Power Apps Canvas app. Hello, hello, hello. So if you like this video, go ahead and click on that subscribe button and smash that like button. Also, if you have a few extra seconds, can you go and put in a comment, either say something nice or give me ideas for my next video. And until then, see ya.